Hi thank you guys welcome to the part 2 and here is the Skype that we are trying to log in uh, using uh, UI automation with the help of VBA coding and uh, here we have a piece of code and here we have Skype uh, inspect object running so if we do not have a identical information of a particular uh, control on the object that we are trying to automate then we can certainly use a different function and if we have identical information then we can use a different function so I have created two different type of functions and let's run the code step by step so here is the first element or the first object that we're gonna set that is to the Skype itself uh, the main object uh, if we look at uh, because we need to reach out to the user ID control so we need to first create the Skype object and in case the Skype object uh, do not have a identical information uh, or a unique identical information so for example if I click on the Skype I do not have automation ID here I do not have any fixed name uh, it means that the uh, name is not static it can uh, vary from one to different and uh, we do not have class name here <coughs> sorry so we can use the first function that gonna loop through each object in the uh, each, uh, each object running on this particular machine uh, on the particular desktop and see the first one is flashing then we found inspect object then the Microsoft Visual Basic application here we found the Skype once we uh, match that in, in, in this particular matching condition you can add the uh, class name you can add automation ID or the various other identical information just to uniquely identify that particular object so we found it we're going to return so element one has the skype object now then our next object is panel first panel and that first panel has identical information that is class name so let's check it so the first panel it has identical information as a class name unique class name then the second panel also has uh, automation ID and the class name but automation ID is numeric on the numeric automation IDs we cannot uh, rely because that is not static that keep changing and the third panel we do not have automation ID there is no name so we need to use as unique uh, identical information as a class name so let's run this so here we sent class name so here we have created the object for the class name then the second panel again class name third panel we are passing the value as a class so here we set as class name again so we reach out to the third panel now uh, these uh, next one is Internet Explorer that is also a unique uh, by class name and the next element is uh, if you see here this particular element the panel and it has framework ID and the name so name is unique so we're gonna use name also we can use the first function to loop through each element in that particular parent elements tree and then we can set uh, to the uh, child element that we intend to create the object for here we have and now we need to create the object for uh, uh, the set object for user id to set the value right now you can see the value there nothing so we have identical information that is automation id and uh, we use the automation id because it's not static uh, it's a uh, oh sorry it's not numeric so it is static so let's see here automation id 
it's not pneumatic so it should be static here we set the value for this control and the same way to the password and now we need to click to this button so we need to invoke the pattern and to the button user id and password id these element or these control has unique identity uh, by automation id because automation id is not a numeric for these elements so here we go ahead and just get the element invoke so here we go uh, the user ID and password was not uh, correct, doesn't exist, that's why it just gives the error. So let me take you through the code again. First we declare three func uh, three variables on the top, then the function that we need to run, or uh, the subroutine that we need to run, and the two other associated function, one to create the object or uh, the uh, return automation element as a uh, returns as an uh, automation element uh, and uh, with the help of uh, we are creating the automation element with the help of name automation id class name and the localized control and the uh, another function if you do not have one unique identical information so you can create a combination of unique identical information and uh, just match a part of that information because the first function would not work until unless if you do not have complete matching information and the second function can work with even with the partial matching information so that's it for today thank you for watching we also have a wide range of services like uh, uh, website development uh, windows application development automations on uh, various platform like uh, excel vba you vb.net open span micro express and several other things thanks for watching please do subscribe my channel thank you